to Abu Bakr, you understand, and said, you wouldn't believe it. I was in a cave and um, I was speaking to the angel Jibreel. If you leave that aside for one moment, and you look at what the political situation was. No, no, before you go into politics, I want to know the reason why you're not answering the question. Well, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to, uh, perhaps I will answer it in a roundabout way. If you look, well, I will, I will do. I'll give you my word. If you look at the political situation that existed in Arabia at that time, it was one of warfare. It was one of competing tribes and warring tribes. We know that in that part of Arabia, we know that it was a major trading port. One of the problems that they had there was the, po the so-called polytheistic beliefs, and not only the polytheistic beliefs, but the war that came with it, which destabilized it. Because my belief, and I'll tell you right now, the same people who wrote the Quran and the same people who wrote the Bible, you understand, are the same people who are in power today. You understand? They're, well, I'll, 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 I'll explain. I'll explain to you. But the, the thing is, you're not letting me speak. You, you made a so oh, no, many no, no, points. No, no, I would like to well, make counter points on that. Sorry, sorry let yeah. me apologize to you because you, I thought I was speaking. But if you want to, and you say that you want to come in, yeah, I will. I mean, right, quiet. That's a polite thing to do. You have made so many points here, which, more I, to make. which I do not agree with. For example, you said that before. Muhammad, there were many gods which I agree with. Yeah. Yes, there were many gods, there were 360 gods in the Kaaba. No, 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 no. So, idols, sorry, sorry, 360 sorry, idols. Sorry, sorry, let me, let, let, let yeah, me just clarify that. There wasn't 360 gods. You understand? Idols. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on one minute. Hold on a minute. They didn't call them idols. You understand? This is a new term. They were gods at that particular time. Yeah? Manat was a god. That's what yeah? I said. No, no, gods, no, but you said gods. idols. No, I said afterwards idols. First I said gods. Okay, but let me just say to you, they weren't just 360 gods because I'm saying that there were 360 gods at that period of time in that part of the world. This is one of the mistakes that people make because before... Oh, no, no, I'm not saying in all the world. Did I say it? No. No, 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 no. That's no, what no. I'm implying. No, that's what, that's I'm, what I'm implying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what I'm but saying is based on the hadiths, based on the Prophet's uh, biographies, we know that when, when the Muslims actually entered Mecca, from Medina when they conquered Mecca after they were persecuted and then driven away went to Medina but when they, when they came back with an army and, and uh, basically came back to their homes this is what they realized that there were 360 idols which they worshipped as gods and this was polytheism yes there was polytheism elsewhere in the world as well there's no doubt about that but anyone who basically misunderstands and tries to imply that Islam originated with Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam are mistaken because what is Islam? Islam basically means submission to God can and submission say, no, to no, one no, 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 no. Wait, correct me after I finish. No, no, sorry, sorry. let me just say to you very quickly. Yeah, we'll just move in and out. First and foremost, that so-called Islam meaning submission to the will of God, yeah, is a term that originated around about 1400 years ago, yeah? It didn't exist, it didn't exist prior to 1400 years ago. What you just did, and I'm going to explain to you, is what I call the classic switch in bait. And I'll tell you what I mean. I'm speaking about the origins of a religion you have taken a monumental step forward and speaking about the the the, the ten-year absence of Muhammad moving from Me Mecca to Medina and then coming back with an army. I'm not speaking about that. I'm speaking about way before that. I'm speaking about the origin of this particular belief system and I'm saying that that belief system came out of the political situation that existed at the time. I disagree with you. Well, well, let me make one point then. One point and then I'll... Let's not capitalise on the word Islam. Because well, well, the word well, Islam on, is an Arabic hold term. Hold on. If you're thinking the Arabic term wasn't well, used before, there's nothing wrong with that. They no. used maybe a different term. No, they but the well submission of one term. God yeah. was well, there well, before Muhammad. No Hold a second, let me just say that. That may well be true if that's what you believe. But right now, today, if you go and you make Hajj, for example, and I've gone to Saudi Arabia, and I've gone on Hajj to Saudi Arabia, my younger days, 1997. And one thing that I discovered there, when you were walking around the Kaaba, most Muslims will believe that those who walk around the Kaaba, the Kaaba is a holy place. And this is what they say. However, prior, prior to the merchants turning that particular part of the world into a great big massive um, uh, corporate industry, prior to that, that was the house of 360 idols that the people in that particular region of the world used to go to. But let me leave that aside for one minute because that's actually a statement of fact. We're looking, we're looking at the advent of a perfect religion. We're not talking Christianity, even though Islam allegedly says you should respect people of the book, 
I'm not even speaking about the Torah. Yeah, let's leave the Torah. What because is the point you're trying to make? I'm going to make the point right, right now. now. No, no, we're not. We're not. It looks like we're not. Because yeah. you're talking no, no. about the origin of Islam, no, no, which I disagree with. Well, hold on a minute. I'm going to tell you. Go Don't get you. nervous because I you know. might not have heard it. I'm going to clarify things here. And I'm going to clarify it for you because we're speaking about the origin of this particular religion, which if you speak. the origin. What is the origin you believe that? If they speak, Muslims tell you. Yeah, that, that, that the Quran, that the word of Allah SWT, which is allegedly written in the Quran, is perfect. Is that true or not? The Quran is perfect. Okay. As right. the, the revelation from Allah. Yes. Okay. Well, we know that you say it came from Allah, but we know that it came from an illiterate guy in a cave. But, but here's your the point. Perspective. Well, can I just say to you, it's actually a statement of fact. You might not like how I said it. You're saying yeah? that Islam basically originated with Muhammad based on... The you revelation that he revealed. Let me finish. Yeah. You know, I let you speak for such a long time. Well, you Every time I try speak. to speak for two no, minutes, and you want to stop it. Can I? Can I have five no, no, minutes? No, no, you, you spoke at do. least ten you minutes. You can do, but you didn't let me speak. I spoke. I did. I ten to. minutes. No, no, no. You go I ahead and speak. You've been speaking for ten minutes. Every time I try to speak, you stop. Can I just say to you, my point was a fairly simple one, but you speak and I listen. You kept saying the origin of Islam many times. I asked you to clarify. You said you don't want to answer that. Now. In order for somebody to understand what you're talking about, I would like to know what is your contention here? That, I, that you want me I'm to respond tell you. from an Islamic perspective. Okay. Because I asked you a clear question. What is your understanding of the origin of Islam? And you said you don't want to talk about it. You don't want to respond to that. I'm listening, sorry. Yeah. So what is the point that you want to respond to? What is the key point that... Well, I'm going no, to tell you. You want to discuss it. Can I just say to you? On, I'm going to be honest with you. I like you, but you're doing like what most what most people who are Muslims do when they have an argument which runs counter to what they believe, and it's said in a clear and concise manner. So let me be very clear for a moment, and I will repeat this again. Yeah, but feel free to jump in any time you wish to. I want to know I'm not, the origin that you keep talking Well, hold on. You can't tell me what, I, what I'm going to say. I'm going to tell you what no, I no, want to say. No, you already told me about the origin, no, but, but you, you do haven't. not want you to haven't. respond You haven't. You haven't. Let me just explain to you. The point that I was making, and you're not going to move me off this point, is a very simple one. What is the point? That's you said, well, hold on. You, you're going to keep saying the same no, thing, the and then you're going to hold it up. Do you understand? Right this is tiring me out. Do yeah. you understand? The point that I was making is a simple one. It is said that the Quran is perfect. It is said that the religion of Islam is perfect. I want to put that to the test and ask you a question. I mentioned earlier when I had a conversation with my daughter that whatever you find in the microsome, you find in the whole. So Muhammad receives this revelation. Muhammad goes to Abu Bakr, yeah, who is his father-in-law. He goes to Abu Bakr and he tells him about this religion and remember, they're in an area where there was political strife. We know that as a fact, if you read the Quran and if you believe the Quran and if you read the Hadiths and you, and you believe the Hadiths. Personally, I don't believe it, but for argument's sake, I'm going to say that I've read them. You understand? And so I'm going to be speaking from that. Here's what throws me. You have a perfect religion, you understand, that has come after, Islam, has come after the Torah, that's come after Christianity, that's come after the belief of, of um, Isanagi, the god in Japan, that's come after Jade Emperor, the ruler of all gods in China, that's come after Guan, Guan Yin, you understand, the god of mercy in China, it's come after Banadicha, you understand, the god of the Aborigines, it's come after Olorun, the god of the Yoruba, it's come after Niame, the god of the Ghanaians, and I can go on and on. And yet, and yet, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and I say peace be upon him, just out of respect, because I'm not here to be rude, but Prophet Muhammad dies and he appoints who? Well, not appoints who, who was appointed, do you understand, to take forward as the first caliph, the first caliph yeah, of Islam was, you can laugh, but just tell me I'm lying and I'll stop. The Bakr first, I'm not speaking to him, I wasn't speaking to you, but I apologize. The first caliph was Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr, you understand, lived for two years. Yeah, lived for two years. Now remember, you can laugh. Am I, am I lying? No, I'm not saying you are. Oh, okay, good. Good, as long as I'm speaking the truth. Well, well, hold on a second. Sir, sir, Let I've studied point, Islam for 32 years. You understand? Sorry. I think I know just a, I know a little bit about Islam. Let me explain to you. I think you know Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr dies. Remember, this is the perfect religion. Abu Bakr led the tribes of the Quraysh into war. 
these are the people that said that they followed and wanted to spread Islam, the perfect religion. Abu Bakr dies, yeah? Um, one minute, one? Just one minute, one minute. Okay. Who's this uh, uh, second caliph? Is it Umar? Um, um, yeah, um, right, the second caliph, the second caliph, she's my ten and a half year old daughter, she knows more than me. Yeah, the second caliph is Umar from the religion of peace, the perfect religion. Umar survives for practically no time whatsoever and the followers of the adherents of peace murder Umar. That's the second caliph. The third caliph was Uthman. Yeah, Uthman, you understand? Well, was, hold on, was also a warrior. Yeah, trying to spread Islam. This is what he did, just like Umar. Uthman, who's the third caliph of Islam, is murdered. Remember, this is the religion of peace. And remember, whatever starts in the microphone, you find in the hole. The fourth caliph is Ali. Ali, many people believe, yeah, many people, especially if you speak to the Shia and you speak to the Twelvers, you understand, they will say to you that Ali should have been the first caliph, yeah, being the cousin of Muhammad and being his secretary. This is what they say. I'm not, secretary. What, what, you want to say secretary is companion. That's an insult yeah. to Ali, you know? Right, right, no. He's you not his secretary. Yeah, well, well, he was one of his second. companions. It's a fact. It's, he was his cousin. It's semantics. Yes. It's a, no, he was the closest it's person. Not semantics, it's yeah, in my company. Anyway, what is the point? No, no, hold There's on a minute. There's never wars in Islam. What is hold the point? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said, no, we're talking about the religion, the religion, the religion of peace we're speaking about. When you say peace, it doesn't mean there were no wars in this religion. Of course there were wars. Which is the perfect religion. Guess what happened with Ali? Yeah, from the religion of peace. Ali is on the floor and he's prostrate, prostrate in, in, in prayer. And Ali from the religion of peace, the fourth caliph of Islam, is murdered. Yeah, is murdered again. Remember, this is all from the lineage. Enemies, yeah. Just hold on one minute. After him, the fifth, the fifth and last caliph, Mutawahid, you understand? He then comes, uh, that's how I pronounce it. I don't speak Arabic clearly. You mean you yeah, I don't pronounce it like you because I'm from Jamaica. Yeah, so excuse me. Now, now, no. I should ask my daughter because she's cleverer than I am. I can exactly. tell you that. But the point that I'm making is, is that so from the beginning of the spread of this religion, it's been rooted in terror and murder. Let me ask you a question. No, that's, that's wrong. I don't, well, I don't, well, hold on a minute. You have, look, you have spoken such a long time. I still don't know what point you're trying to say. If you, I'm I, giving I, you, I think you should give I'm me a chance you. to respond because I want to jump well, in here. Give, you give, said, me, give me 20 more seconds. Okay. 20 more seconds. Count. The point that I'm making is, is that the the root of this religion, after the so-called death and even during the death of Muhammad, has been rooted in murder and terror among his own adherents. You understand? That is an absolute fact. So when today, in 2016, a Muslim comes and says that my belief is a righteous belief, it's the one belief in the world, and we believe, we believe, I say that's good for you, because everyone seemingly around the world has a God, and I will have respect for that belief. What you can't do is say that that belief is so powerful that everybody else should have it. That I won't accept. Okay, fine. Now, it's your opinion. I mean, if you don't want to accept, that's fine. At the end of the day, yes, there were wars in Islam during its history, during its early history, and even later history. There's no doubt. I will not say there were no wars. And when, I, when, when you say the peaceful religion, it doesn't mean it was all rosy from the very beginning. You know when Prophet Wasallam, from the very beginning, since his parents died, since his uncle and his grandfather died, yes, he had been on the receiving end. He and his people, the early Muslims, were driven away from Mecca, from their own houses. They were persecuted, persecuted to the point where they had to basically run away from their own homes. At, in, in, what in, has that got to do with the, the origins of the well, origins let me finish. of I'm, I'm being saying, in the cave? You're, you're trying, to, you're trying to imply it was all just rosy. It was, no, no, it was all, to, all wars and terror. To do I'm with... coming to that. Okay. I'll let you, I, let you speak. Let me speak now. So what I'm saying is that, yes, they were driven away, they were persecuted, and the same thing if you look at other religions. If you look at the time of, for example, the time of Jesus, yes, he was persecuted. The people that were with him, they were persecuted. To be honest, I don't think any prophet from the past, yes, who has not been persecuted by the people that he were. For example, why do you think Noah had to build an ark? Because he was also persecuted by the people. He was trying to convey the message. Now we are go back to history and we look at all the prophets. Some, most of them had to face this uh, persecution which, from the people. Prophets? 
Noah, give an example of Noah, give an example of Jesus, mm -hmm. example of Moses. Moses, yeah. the Pharaoh wanted to basically kill all the, the Hebrews and the, the Jewish people at that time, and they were persecuted. So Muhammad Sallallahu and his companions were no exception to this persecution. Because when you spread the truth, when you want to spread saying, yes, believe in one God, not these 360 idols, do not believe this uh, paganism, this, uh, uh, I would call it paganism because it involves idol worship. Based on what? That's fine, I'll we'll, we'll do the... Uh, sir, sir, Let one me moment. finish and then you can based, interject, my based, friend. Based on what? Because my friend. You're doing, what, what you're doing now, you're proselytizing, do you understand, and you're not giving an answer. I will give question, an answer to the question in my way, if you don't mind. Yeah, but let me just but say, if, you, if you stop interrupting me, then I can well, finish. Sir, I did not sir, interrupt you, with all due respect. You? You've been speaking you, here at least 15, 20 minutes. You can interrupt me. I told you, you can interrupt me. No, but I don't want to, that's not how I dialogue. It's not the point. That is the point. It's Hyde Park. We can't you get can, a point across if we keep interrupting. And this is the problem that I have with Muslims. Which is what? what? Let me tell you what happens. Okay, Anytime somebody... Any, no, 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 I'll speak for 10 seconds. Anytime someone says something yeah. in an intellectual, clear, concise manner, which goes against the doctrine that you've been taught, the first thing you do is raise your voice, interrupt them, and try to throw them off. I understand. Hold on, did so I you interrupt you? On. Or you interrupted me? No, no you did. But no, don't, don't try to put <laughs> what fine. you believe is righteous, yes? thinking that I'm the one who interrupted. Sir, when you look, I've only look, spoken from look, an Islamic perspective. No, no, that's what you think. No, no, that's I'm, I'm your telling assumption. You as a fact. For example, when you said... Tell you, me where I've lied. Where you have lied? Yeah, yeah. just tell me where I've lied. I didn't say you lied. You might, uh, sir, you might we, not we have... We can only speak on truth. Uh, tell me where I lied. Okay, I'll tell you what. Yeah, when you said doing. Abu Bakr, radiallahu anhu, yes, who fought wars, and I asked you which wars, you did not want to respond to that. Let me tell you why. Which because, wars did you fight? Let Go me tell you the reason why. I don't get into that. Why? I made clear the reason why I'm getting into that because the origin of the Whoa. argument is not the wars. Yeah, it's it's immaterial. The origin of the argument, which you're not going to take me off of my path on, is that the religion that you follow is no different to the adherence of the other religions that existed at that time. Your story is no more plausible than any other stories. Why on earth wouldn't I sit here at the moment and speak about the three main, the three main um, Indian religions and, 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 and the wars that they had? It's nonsensical. You know, you, said, you, gonna, you said something about Islam's origin, terror, sorry, with uh, wars and with uh, terrorizing, for example. I didn't say the that. Killing. I didn't mention the word terrorizing. Yes, you did. Maybe you should look up the videos that's been up. Okay, then, 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 but, then but if hold I on. did, you know, I you, did. You know, I'm still not clear as to what you're trying to say. If you, if you did not want to imply that, yeah. what is the point of this discussion? You tried to imply that Islam's origin wasn't peaceful, in other words. Mm. Is that what that's you're trying what to say? Trying to well, Isn't well, that what you're trying to say? No, 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 no. You, can, oh, you, it's not. you, can, you can't put me in the face. So, I'm saying I'm asking amongst, you. I'm not telling you. I'm saying amongst many other things, yes. amongst any other things, I would have expected that if someone makes a claim yeah, a claim that no other religion uh, that I've ever heard of makes, Which whereby is? it says that there is no other prophet yeah, after Muhammad, and I'm saying that's an incredible claim, that's no other prophet after Muhammad, I then want to see the results of what that religion says and what it does. And so I look at the religion again, and I look at the caliphs, do you understand? And I look at the murder and the tyranny that surrounded it. Now, you may well say there was war at that time. That may well be the case. And I knew that there was war at the time. That. No, no, you did if say you that. If you heard me, what I said was all the prophets and their companions before were persecuted. Sure. Do you, do you dis dis disagree with that? All the prophets were persecuted from the region of the world that you're talking about. Which is? But the region of the world that you're speaking about. Oh, you're about talking only about the Abrahamic the faiths. Is that what the, you're talking the, about? That's right. Oh, okay, the, the Abrahamic the, faiths the, is a problem. The Abrahamic here. faiths. Okay, yeah, good. Right. So, good. now we're all, getting somewhere. All of the Abrahamic faiths, all of the Abrahamic faiths, yeah, make that particular claim. The point that I'm making is that the world extends beyond the Abrahamic faiths. So, I'm asking, how was it, because I can tell you, I already know the answer, yeah, but I'm asking, how was it that. Islam, for example, and Christianity, you understand, has spread across the world because as far as I'm concerned, they are expansionist religions. 
they are expansionist religions. There is a reason today. Uh, when my are, daughter you, are, you, are you somehow trying to say Islam spread by the sword? Why didn't you just say it? Well, well, hold on a second. No you, can't, you can't put words in my mouth. No, but that's because, what you're trying to say, isn't it? Well, Come on. on. There's no... I, mentioned, I mentioned expansionist religions, plural. Okay, yeah? I didn't say, say I didn't say I didn't say singular. And so just for people who are not aware, the Abrahamic faith is Judaism, they understand Christianity and, and Islam. I'm saying when we had a dis when my daughter and I had a discussion today and she was speaking about why why is it that you can go to certain countries in the world and they only speak English, for example. I was trying to explain to her and explain to her how religion has spread across the planet. Now if you look at what we were speaking that's what we were speaking about, right? If you look at the world, there are two constants that run through it, as far as I'm concerned, within the Middle East, stroke Africa and the Western world. It's the spread of expansionist religions. Now, if all the religion did, if all the religion did was to take their book and say, here's the book, you can either accept it or not accept it. I would say that is fine because people have a right to any belief that they wish. Interrupt me any time you wish. They have because a. We have gone away from the point again. I still no, want to know no, what's the point we you're trying to debate again. The point every that, time you change the goalpost for some reason, every time I ask no, 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 you a no, question, no, no. you're going away from the point. I have not gone away from the point. You don't understand. What is the main contention? Can I just say to you? The Abrahamic faith. Listen, let me just, let me, because I said this is time. This is time now. Have you read it down neatly to you? This happens. This happens. To jump in, all the time, to jump in. and that's the reason <laughs> why earlier I said if you came to Hyde Park once yes. upon a time, you could have political discussions and so on and so forth. And now it's just a big outside mosque. If you go against whatever the prevailing, if you go against, if you go against whatever the prevailing belief is, they don't wish to hear because essentially, essentially, what well, well, I think that you do. I think you're, you're changing I, the goalposts every no, 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 time. No, no. Every time I ask you a question about Islam, and, with regards to what you said, you ask me what is me one thing that you lied about. This, I asked, okay, you did not lie, but some things you missed out the key points. For example, I asked you about. Abu Bakr Tell me what was the war no, that he fought. No, this is Let the classic. You know hold on, this is the classic bait and switch. You know what I mean? This is this is the classic bait and switch. This is the classic, bait and, is the classic bait and switch. Because if I answer, if I well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'll answer it for you. I'll answer it for you. The reason why, the reason why, and I said to you, pre I said to you previously earlier on that I don't answer these questions because essentially what it's meant to do is to take you away from your original point. And the original point is, is that Islam has no greater distinction than any other religion that's been here on this planet. Okay, hold on, hold on. Well, I'm answering you. Yeah, it has no, it has no, it has no other clear distinction from any other religion that exists on this planet Earth. So if I start going into um, um, Umar and the wars that Umar had and the taxes the Jizra that he put on the non believer it's, it's, it's a side issue. It's a side issue. The issue is, is that the beginning of Islam, no, it's not. The, begin, the beginning, it's not the beginning of Islam, the beginning, and this is where you're wrong. You keep saying uh, this is this the is, this of is Islam. semantics. No, this is semantics. semantics. It is, it is, look, it is. It's semantics. You keep saying this is the origin of Islam. It's, this it's, is not the it's, origin of it's Islam. Semantics. Islam. Look, the word Islam is the Arabic term. Yes, that might have originated 1400 years ago, but the belief in one God did not originate 1400 years ago, and this is the key point which you keep missing. Yes, there were gods who were basically uh, believed uh, by other uh, other countries, sorry, other geographic regions like Japan and Egypt and so on. Yes, there were other gods. I do not deny that. But the key point is this. In many regions of the world, other than the Middle East, okay, there was also belief in one god. And this is what, for example, take the example of Ashoka in India. Yes, he fought wars to spread his religion. Guess what was his religion? Do you know? I have no idea. Buddhism. Yeah. Yes, this was a Buddhist ki king in India who was an expansionist and he expanded. You see, before the United Nations, there, what was the rule of, of law? Basically, anyone who captures a land, they would rule it by their principles, by their doctrines, by their laws. And this is what happened. It was mightiest right. And this, regardless of whether it was in Africa, 
possible. In Mexico, in Americas, in Australia, whatever the people were at that time, in the Middle East, yes, the rule was might is right at that time. They did not have defined borders like the way we have today in the United Nations, uh, since, the, since the United Nations. Islam started from the time of Adam, from the time who basically submitted to one God, anyone who submitted to one God is by, is, well, you can say, you can, well, you can call me a liar by using flowery language, but what I'm saying is this, believe in one God. Adam never had to believe in Muhammad. I'm actually going to call you a liar. Well, you can, you've already why. done so. Did Adam have to okay. believe in Muhammad? Okay, do you believe in Adam, first and foremost? No, no, let's go back to no, no, no. How can you say I'm disingenuous? This is disingenuous, and I'm going to explain when you finish. Okay, let me finish that. Okay, so what I'm saying is, based on my belief, based on Islam. Yes, it is a belief. And this is what I'm saying. We believe, just like other Abrahamic faiths, that the first man was Adam. And this first man believed in one God. And to me, that is Islam. Believe and sub to believe and to submit in one God is basically what Islam is. It did not originate with Muhammad, as many people misunderstand. And like I said, every prophet, every messenger had to face this persecution. Nothing new. Right, let, let, let me just say to you, let me just say to you, um, I'm actually, I hesitate to say it, but you're a liar. And I'm going to tell you why you're a liar. Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you that where you use, where you use semantics, yeah, in order to take people away from what I was saying and then bring up something that didn't exist, you're a liar. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. When you speak about Islam, meaning the submission yeah, to the will of Allah, you understand? That's fine. You can say that. But that came about 1400 years ago. Let me explain to you why I say that. Why I say that first and foremost. Prior to that, in Arabia at that time, we know, and you've already admitted, that it was a mixture of polytheists. Do you understand? This is. Open up your mind.